my friends. It is our Wednesday lesson. Wild Wednesday is my theme. I don't know how we want to think about Wild Wednesday, but we can think about the way animals jump. We can think about coming up with wild and crazy ideas to practice our movement skills. But today we're going to focus on jumping, hopping, leaping, and we're going to think about different patterns of movement. So going forward and backwards, going side to side, up and down, all the ways we jump, hop, and we leap, that we can have control of our body, we can take our upper body and our lower body and use them together. So we thought a little bit about this last week when we played Simon Says. And today we're gonna to think about it a little bit more. How, think of some ways that we can jump, which means our two feet are together, we're using our knees and we're using our upper bodies. Have a quick think. Jumping like a frog. Let's do it. 10 frog jumps. Down and up. On the knees. Well done. That's five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And 10. Fantastic. Great for warm up. Could be by your shake. This is our warm up. Bunny hops, right? Pretend like you have a line in the ground. I have my skipping rope for my toolkit. I'm gonna bunny hop over and back, which means I'm moving forward and backward. Can you give yourself an imaginary line and do the same thing with me? 10 of them. Forward, use those arms and back. Nice. Keep going. Three. And two. And give your body a shake. Fantastic. One of these. Star jumps. It's still a jump, right? We're just kind of moving side to side and taking up lots of space with our body. So 10 star jumps. Ready, steady, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic. Lots of control. Let's think about leaping forwards and backwards. Leaping one foot in front of the other. Using the upper body, nice and controlled. We're gonna start with leap and bring our feet together and then progress to leap, leap, leap. We need to have balance and control. Here we go. Leap, feet together. Leap, feet together. Now let's try our other leg first. Leap, feet together. Leap, feet together. Now let's go leap, leap, leap. Using those arms, nice control balance. And again, when might you leap? You know what I was thinking? I was at Rock Creek Park yesterday. You would leap from stone to stone in Rock Creek Park, right? One foot in front of the other. You have to have balance and focus. So when you're practicing leaping, I want you to think about that. You don't jump from stone to stone, right? Where, when you're out in Rock Creek Park, you leap from stone to stone. So think about that. Think about that when you're practicing your leaping, that you're on Rock Creek Park and you've got those stones in front of you. When else, what other ways can we leap, hop, jump? If you have a jump rope, right? If you have a jump rope in your toolkit and you're able to jump, um, we are gonna learn how to skip rope soon. So if you have that skipping rope and you've got places right now to safely do it, give it a go. If you don't have one, let's just pretend. Ready, steady, here we go. 10 seconds, keep those feet together. Let's hop and turn around. And let's turn the other way. Fantastic. And give your body a shake. Fantastic. What about zigzagging? Would we leap when we zigzag? Let's try it. Remember zigzag is two, 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 two. Leap, feet together. So you're kind of going from side to side and back. And let's use that backward motion. Fantastic. Make sure you have nothing around that you can trip on. Let's try it again. Zigzag, leap. So side to side, bringing those feet together and back. jump. 
where you bring those knees up to your chest. Let's try five of them, five tuck jumps. Bring those hands here, ready? Steady, you're gonna bring your knees up and see if you can slack up, slap them. It's a little bit tricky, so let's start small. One, two, one more coordination, let's try. Woo! Four, one more. Tuck jump, well done. What about side to side? Can we jump side to side over an imaginary line, keeping our feet together? Let's try. So side to side movement, bunny hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So loads, our warm up just consists of them so many different ways and directions of jumping, hopping, and leaping. Now I want you to think of some ways that you're gonna be excited to jump, hop, and leap. And we're gonna play a little game, okay? So have a drink, have a quick drink of water, give your buddy a little shake, and we're gonna get moving. Okay, so if you have your toolkit, and you've got your paper and your pencil and your crayon or your markers, I want you to come up with eight different types of jumps. Can you do that? Eight different types of jumps. I'm gonna give you a minute to come up with that. If you don't have your toolkit, you can just think about some types of jumps and you can move along with me because I've got a list of eight different types of jumps we're gonna do. We're gonna play a game called Crazy Eight, which is different types of jumps. It's a little bit creative and wild and wacky and we're gonna move in different directions when we jump. So you can either wait for the next minute, pause this, and come up with some ideas and press play again, or you can just move along with me as we play Crazy Eight. Are we ready? Are we steady? And let's go. My Crazy Eight jumps are gonna be side jumps. So let's move with me. Side jumps, we do eight of them. One, two, so that's a side jump. Bunny hop, eight of them. High knees or quicksand. High knees or quicksand. Skipping rope, without a rope. You don't need a rope, right? Frog jumps. Fantastic. Ninja jump. This is quite fun. So you've got your ninja hand and you jump forward and you go back. And you jump forward, ninja jump, star jumps, or you can just do jacks. And our final jump is broad jump. Remember this, this is where we use our arms and we go forward and we jog back. So these are crazy eight. We're gonna do eight jumps of these eight different types of jumps. Okay, are you ready? Whew. It's really warm in the dance studio today. We've got some new lights, so I'm really feeling it. All right, give everybody a shake. We're nice and warmed up now. What do you want to think about when we jump? Using those knees, landing softly on those feet, using upper body and lower body, and having control and focus, right? So we want quality movement. So here we go, eight side jumps. You can imagine you're jumping over something on the sidewalk. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Are you moving with me? I hope you're all moving with me. Fantastic bunny hop. Eight bunny hops. I'm gonna twirl around in the circle when I bunny hop. You can do whatever you want, just make sure it's safe. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, seven and eight. Fantastic. Did you twirl? I hope so. Hi, knees are quicksand jumps. Eight of them. Ocho, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two really quick. Seven and eight. Fantastic. Quicksand so you don't fall on the quicksand, right? Hi, knees. Skipping rope. Eight skipping rope. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Fantastic. Frog jumps, touching down, 
down and let's reach for the sky, okay? On your lily pad, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well done, give your body a little shake. Put your hand on your heart for me. Is it pounding? I feel like mine is pounding a little bit. That's how you can tell you're working hard. When you feel your heart pounding and you're a little bit breathless, that means you're having a really good PE lesson. That means you're working so hard. So I'm proud of you, well done. Ninja jump, this is gonna be fun. Got your ninja hand, ready, here we go. One, maybe you even wanna say whatever ninja said. Two, three, fantastic. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Fantastic ninja jumps. Star jumps, so all the way up, or jacks, your choice, eight of them, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And last but not least, our eighth type of jump, broad jump. So jumping forward with those arms, remember? Use those arms to propel you forward, and you can just back pedal back. I'm ready to feel your heart. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, and a big one, eight. Fantastic. Give your little body shake, walk in place. So, eight types of jumps. Jumping is hard work, right? You are using all the muscles in your body and you're using your heart muscle, because it's hard. So, we're gonna put our hands on our heart and see if you can feel your heart beating. Okay, shh, I'm just gonna breathe. See if you can feel it focus on it. Do you feel it? I'm just pounding, not so you can tell your heart rate. We can learn to take our pulse one day soon. But for now, if your heart is beating, and if you count for 10 seconds, and it's beating at least 10, 10 times in 10 seconds, that is a great workout. If it's not, maybe you need to work a little bit harder so you can get stronger and fitter, building it up. So if it's not beating, that's okay. But let's focus on that. Let's focus on getting the most out of these quick little P lessons we have. So that was crazy eights. If you want, you can play along again, or you can make up your own crazy eight with different types of jumps. Remember hopscotch? Hopscotch is a great way you can use your chalk and draw some lines on the footpath outside. Practice your single leg jump, your double leg jump. You can just draw kind of like a ladder and go in and out and try different types of jumps, right? Jump to the side. I think I'm moving in different patterns. So, so many ways you can get your jump rope out. Practice skipping rope, practice your rainbow. Remember, it's rainbow over and jump, rainbow over and jump. And we'll work on t teaching you to skip rope very soon. Um, fantastic work today, jumping, hopping, leaping in different directions. We're now, for Wild Wednesday, I'm gonna take you on a little forest adventure with me. I went for a run yesterday and made a little um, video for you to follow along to. We're gonna think about our heart rate. We're gonna think about our quality movement. So follow along again, make sure you have some safe space. And I hope you enjoy it. See you next week, friends, bye. Hey everybody, so our lesson for today is we're gonna go on an adventure through the woods. You're going to go with me while I hop, leap, skip, jump, 
run, fast feet, bear crawl, and snake slither through the forest. So all you need is your imagination and some space at home. So what I want you to do now is look around your space. Is it safe for you to move around? Do you have shoes on or are you barefoot? Because in socks, this might be a bit tricky. And I want really good quality movement. So you're gonna watch, you're gonna listen to my instructions, and you're gonna move along with me as I make my way through the forest. Are you ready? All right, stand up, let's get moving. Okay, everyone, here's some steps. Could we hop, leap, jump up these steps? I bet we could pretend like you're hopping jumping or leaping up these steps. Ready, steady, go. Hop, two feet together. Let's go. Hop, hop, hop. Or maybe we're frog jumping or maybe you're doing high knees up the steps. You're nearly to the top. Keep moving. Did you do it? I did it. Feel your heart. Is your heartbeat pounding? Count for 10 seconds. Don't know how many times your heart is beating. Go. My heart beat 10 times in 10 seconds. I wonder what yours Hey everyone, another scenario. Do you see the cracks in the pavement? Can you hop, leap, or skip over 10 squares using control of your body? Ready, steady. How did it go? Did you do it? All right, let's put our hands on our hearts. 10 seconds, let's see where our heart rates are. Ready, steady, go. And down. My heart beat 12 times that time. From 10, I hopped with two feet. 10 forward hops. Okay, on to the next adventure. Okay, we've got a log in our way. Can you jump over this log 10 times? So we're jumping with two feet. Use those arms for momentum. 10 times over and back. Ready, steady, off you go. Jump. You're nearly there, keep jumping. Fantastic. Did you use your arm for momentum? I hope you did. Okay. Feel your heartbeat is a pounding just like the other two adventures. That's so great. That's what we want. We want good quality movement and we want your heart rate getting up. That means you're getting fitter and stronger. Okay, friends, there's a log in our way. We're going to crawl under it and then jump 10 times. Army crawl under and jump. Go. Ready, steady, 10 times. over the log we're in the jungle can you creep for 30 seconds through the jungle and we're creeping quietly so no one hears you ready and go in the stone and you leap to the next stone. Are you ready? Ready. 30 seconds leaping from stone to stone. Use those arms slow and controlled to find your balance. Well done. Don't fall in the water. You're nearly there. You almost made it to the bridge. Hooray, you made it. Fantastic leaping. More stones. Can you leap, hop on one foot, or jump with two feet from stone to stone? Use those arms. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. 
Okay, friends, it's a tricky one, balancing. You need to balance over the stream on the log to stand up nice and tall, arms up to your sides, take one foot in front of the other, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and you made it! Do five jumping jacks when you get across. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, does this look familiar to anyone? It's our walking in the woods bridge. So it's not quite as tricky to go across as a log, but arms out, walking across the bridge, balancing slow and controlled. And when you get across, do five more star jumps to celebrate. Ready, steady, go. Excellent, and five star jumps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Hey friends, does this look familiar as well? It's the chicken nugget. I want you to pretend you have your own chicken nugget and jump over it with two feet 10 times. Ready, steady, go. Maybe you're jumping forward and backwards. Maybe you're jumping side to side. Keep going. Fantastic work, well done. We have one more adventure to go. Okay, our final adventure. It is super muddy. So in order to get back home, you need to do high knees or quick feet so you don't sink into the mud. Are you ready? You've only got 10 high knees to go. Ready, steady, high knees, go. One, two, three, four, five. You're sinking, keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine and 10 and like we made it back to the school excellent work my friends i hope you gave some great quality movement you got those heart rates up and you had fun seeing our walk in the woods route